Hi guys, I hope you all are doing great. So today's video I'm going to uh, test out few daughter dot products, and then I also have some new uh, makeup products right here. So we will do a very minimal makeup look using all the new products that I have. But before that, let me uh, quickly prep my skin. So it's pretty hot uh, here in Delhi. So I generally keep my uh, G10 skincare routine pretty short. And that is why I just use a serum and a sunscreen because both the products are enough to keep my skin moisturized, hydrated, and protected from UVA rays uh, for a really long time. So the first product that I'm going to use today is this Dr. Shed's Vitamin C Serum. So this is Amla VC20 Vitamin C Serum. It has Vitamin C, Vitamin E, Sodium Hyaluronate, Ferulic Acid, and Amla Extract. So this contains 20% Vitamin C, and this is probably my third bottle. I really like it because it is very very lightweight and it has this watery consistency. So this sinks into the skin almost immediately and makes it really hydrated, soft and plump. Uh, this contains 20% ethylascorbic acid which is one of the most stable forms of vitamin C as compared to l ascorbic acid. It doesn't really quickly turn yellow and uh, goes bad. So, it also contains ferulic acid which makes it more stable and also adds antioxidants. It also contains uh, hyaluronic acid which is great for keeping your skin hydrated for a long time and it also makes your skin look really plump. Also vitamin E present in the serum strengthens the barrier. So the serum keeps my skin hydrated. If you use it regularly you will see an overall evenness and brightness in your skin because so the serum contains anti-aging properties as well. So this is a very very good uh, all in one kind of serum that you can use during the day. I really like to use it during the day, like first thing in the morning. After applying this, I, give, I take a break of like 5 minutes and then I apply the sunscreen. Uh, also, the serum is fragrance free and it is suitable for all skin types. So, since the weather is very hot, I'm not applying a moisturizer on the top of it. Uh, but if you live in a colder climate, you should always follow up with a moisturizer and then use the sunscreen. But the sunscreen that I'm going to use next is quite moisturizing so it doubles up as a moisturizer. Using a good sunscreen every day is really really essential to protect your skin from UV damage. So I'm using Dr. Shen Ceramide and Vitamin C Sunscreen. It's an SPF 50 and it is anti-pollution and anti visible light. Now this sunscreen right here is one of the most popular sunscreens in Indian market. Uh, it has such a lovely texture. It has a very nice lotion like texture which is not thick at all. Uh, it is quite moisturizing and doubles up as a very good moisturizer as you can see. So this SPF 50 is a mineral sunscreen with organic filters which makes it pretty suitable for uh, even sensitive skin types. So I like to apply it liberally like two finger rule or all over my face and neck. As you can see it's blending into the skin really really beautifully without leaving any white scars. Feels like a moisturizer and it actually moisturizes the skin because it also contains a 1% ceramide complex and ceramide is known to strengthen the skin's barrier. It gives you that very nice fresh feel and uh, it is not sticky at all so which makes it suitable for all skin types. This also contains 2% vitamin C which prevents micro pigmentation. So this product very well doubles up as a moisturizer and it feels very light on the skin. And uh, I will highly recommend you guys to check this one out. Also, I have been testing out Dr. Shed's products for a really long time. I really like their products. And uh, like I mentioned in a previous video, I have heard that a lot of uh, celebrities also use Dr. Shed's products. So, I am going to link all the products in the description box below so because you get to check them out. Now, I am going to tie my hair up. I don't know what's wrong with my front hair. Uh, yeah. Now we can start with the makeup. So the first product that I'm going to apply on my face is this concealer. This is Jotter Earth Concealer. And I have picked this in the shade Cappuccino. So this looks like a nice color for my complexion. I'm going to apply this under my eyes. I'm going to use this makeup sponge. I'm taking the product directly from the pan. Uh, it is almost like my skin tone. Concealer has a very different texture. It almost feels like thick cream. It is not very creamy. It is not like greasy. It is thick. But the coverage it is providing is medium. 
honestly, I have considered and decided and decided without concealer, and I'm sure you can see the difference very clearly. Um, the concealer is nice. The shade is a very good match for my complexion. It is very very good match. It was very easy to blend. Uh, though it's not very creamy, probably because of the ingredients. It's I think uh, it's an organic brand, organic skincare brand. As you can see, the concealer is done. It is nice. Uh, it is just it is very similar to my skin tone, so it's it doesn't give me that brightening effect. But I think my under eye darkness is kind of okay very well. Next, I'm going to apply a little bit of tint on my cheek because that is what I do on a daily basis. Uh, for that, I'm going to use this tint from a brand called Nastoon. The product name is Nast Tint. Uh, this is very pigmented, so I have to be very careful. This tint is very pigmented and I have a lot of it on my cheek right now. Uh, I realized that it is best to apply this tint with the help of your finger and not this one because one is kind of making the application patchy. I'm just blending the edges. So the blush is done. As you can see, it is looking very nice and the uh, whole idea of a tint is to make your cheeks, cheeks look like they are naturally flushing, the color is natural, the tint is really perfected. So yeah, the tint is done, it is very pigmented as you can see my fingers are stained. Uh, it is very very pigmented so make sure not to apply more than a drop of it on one cheek. One cheek, one cheek and then blend it well before applying more. Next, I'm going to do my brow so that I'm going to use this very micro brow pencil. So my brows are done, I really like this micro brow pencil, it is very very easy to use and it just fills your brows um, in few strokes and it gives me this very natural looking nice brows. I'm going to set my brows using Blue Heaven Sculpt and Set Mascara. I really like this mascara gel, uh, it makes my brows look really fluffy. And it is just priced at rupees two fifty. You should give it a you should give it a try. So I think the basic makeup is done. Now what I would do, I will just apply a nice eyeliner and powder my face very quickly. For eyeliner, I'm going to use a colored eyeliner today. I'm using ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Joyride. This is a very pretty color. Unfortunately, I haven't come across such color in any of the uh, brands available in India. I will keep on looking and will let you guys know if I find something similar. The color is very pretty. So, I really like to use colored eyeliners on a daily basis, like day to day basis because you don't really need an eyeshadow when you're using a colored eyeliner and they add so much uh, life to the whole look. Next I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. I also have a false lashes concentrate like this is a lash primer and I picked it from Kiko. This is the false lashes primer. So I'll curl my lashes first then apply primer and uh, after a few minutes I'll apply the mascara. Now that the primer is applied, I'm going to give it a few minutes. So to set all the three products in place, I'm going to apply the K-Beauty Compact in the shade 130 and medium. 
this is a nice compact but it uh, there is a lot of kickback when you dip your brush in it and the mirror is almost all the time covered with the powder I like it because it also gives you uh, some coverage like a very sheer coverage So the compact is done as you can see it has added some coverage and uh, it has also mattified my skin this is not a very dry compact so i like to use it during summer time but the only challenge is there is a lot of fallout when you press your brush in it it just flies everywhere so i think my primer has dried i'm going ahead with the mascara this is super fan mascara from smashbox So the mascara is also done. Uh, I'm going to let it dry a little bit, and I will apply some nice lipstick. For lipstick, I have a new liquid lipstick from a brand called Vivard. So it's a very famous US-based brand, and the lip color I have is in the shade Timeless. And before you guys start asking about my nail paint, which nail color is it? It's not your regular nail polish. It's a gel nail color. I got it done at a salon around. Uh, Uh, four or five days ago, before my birthday, I think on 11th, and uh, I have this on. I basically got it done because uh, the nail polish comes off um, of my hand very very quickly, and I really wanted something to stay on for a longer time. I'm going to mist my face with Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. The mister on this is really pathetic. It doesn't give you nice fine mist. There are so many droplets on my face. Uh, that's the reason why I just do not reach out for this one. It is such a waste of money when you buy a product and the actual mechanism or what it's supposed to do is like a fail, is a dud. Uh, so I don't really have an opinion on this particular mist because I don't use it that often. I've used I think only three times so far. Yeah. So this is my basic makeup look, which I do if I'm going out. Of course, minus red lipstick because I do not really wear red on a daily basis. I generally wear uh, neutral colors. So, but this is all I do if I'm going out. Like you know, my eyebrows, mascara, some. Uh, tint on my cheeks a little bit of concealer and a nice lip color with some brows on that's about it so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up i'm going to link all the products in the description box below so yeah if you are new here do not forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you very very soon in my next video till then take care and bye